Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download an inventory pets data pack on your server. This data pack is based on the infamous Inventory Pets mod. The Inventory Pets mod added 52 pets that gave the player holding them unique skills and effects. And that's also exactly what this data pack does. This pack adds 10 pets and all you have to do is place them in your inventory for their skills to take effect. The Blaze pet gives you fire resistance. The Slime pet gives you jump boost. The Squid pet gives you water breathing and Dolphin's grace. The Phantom pet gives you slow falling. The Enderman pet randomly teleports you whenever you take damage. And that's not all, there are more pets that give you cool effects. However, you do have to keep food for them in your inventory as they get hungry too. Whenever they're hungry, they'll turn grey and will have this empty bar below them. To find out what you need to feed your pets, all you have to do is hover over the pet and it'll tell you what their preferred food is in brackets. As you can see, the chicken needs one wheat seed, so if we put some wheat seeds in our inventory, it should automatically eat it and give you back the effects. Now you're probably wondering, how do we obtain these pets? Well, there are four different ways. The first way is by using the command on the screen if you have cheats enabled. If you type it in chat, it'll give you all the pets instantly. The second way is if you have the creator's other data pack installed, the Lucky Blocks data pack. If you break a lucky block, it has a chance of dropping a random pet. The third way is by finding a wandering trader, and the fourth way is by simply crafting them. All the recipes for the inventory pets will be on the official download page, which we've left down in the description. Now, if you're wondering how to download this pack and get it set up, I'll be showing you how to do that in just a second, so stay tuned. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. Scroll down to where it says download data pack and click it for your file to be instantly downloaded. Below that, you'll see that there's also a required resource pack button. If you click it, it'll instantly download that file too. To make the next step easier, we recommend you move these zips to a place where you can easily access, for example, your desktop. For this step, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. As of now, the website states it's for 1.16 to 1.17, but this may change in the future, so please check before continuing. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Firstly, I'll be showing you how to upload the data pack onto a world you've already created. This data pack doesn't require you to make a new world, but if you're also interested in that, I'll be showing you how to create a brand new world with the data pack enabled after. What you're going to do first is head to the Files tab. Click on the World folder and then the Data Packs folder. Here is where you're going to drag the Inventory Pets data pack zip you downloaded earlier in this video. And that's it, the data pack is uploaded onto your world. However, if you're interested in creating a brand new world with the data pack enabled, you're going to want to head to the Worlds tab. Here is where you're going to create a brand new world. You can set your world name and adjust world settings as usual. Just make sure the world name doesn't have spaces or special characters. However, below you'll also see a button labeled Upload Data Packs. Simply click the Select Files button and then navigate to the area where you saved the Inventory Pets Data Pack zip to. Once you've found it, press Open and then Create World. It'll take a couple seconds for the files to upload, but when that's done, you should go into the Files tab. Double click on your world folder and then go into the data packs folder. If you see the inventory pets data pack zip inside, it means you have followed these steps correctly. Now that the data pack is uploaded onto the server, you'll have to make sure the required resource pack is also installed. To do that, you'll want to head back to the files tab. Then open up the server.properties file and look for the lines saying resource pack. After the equals, you want to right click and paste the link to the required resource pack. We ourselves have uploaded that file to our Dropbox, so if you'd like, you can use our link. It'll be in the description. Alternatively though, you can upload the resource pack to any website that supports creations of hot links, and put your own link into the server.properties file after. Before continuing, make sure to press save file to confirm the changes, and then all you have to do is log into your server to experience the new additions. You can do this by heading to the dashboard and copying the host name. 
Afterwards, quickly launch your Minecraft application and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. Now, when you join your server, you'll be able to play around with your new pets. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.